The biggest story in the game on Saturday was the best player in the game sitting out because of COVID-19. Trevor Lawrence, Clemson out. DJ Uyunglele getting the start. And Travis Etienne, they were down 14 to 7. Looked as if they were going to score, but Brandon Sebastian fumble, scoop and score. Etienne fumbles the ball, but that's on the true freshman quarterback, Uyunglele. You got to put that football in the belly of the running back. He hit him in the neck with it. And as a result, Boston College up 21 7. They're DC loving it. All right, so second quarter. Fourth and two, Joe Tessitore's son, John, comes in to hold for the field goal. And oh, by the way, dad was on the call. As they split out, Danny Dalton's a fake. Tessitore is under center on fourth and two, and he got him to come off sides. John Tessitore came up and played quarterback at the last second, and they may get a first down out of this. I love it. That's Joe Tessitore. They Fired did. Up. They did get a first down out of it, but Pop and then Phil Jerkovic, C.J. Lewis, what a grab, 28-10 at this Boston point. College so relaxed. They won so many 50-50 balls in the first half. The 28 points is kind of scary for a Clemson defense. And you see 28-10, you're like, oh, my gosh, this is a beat down in Death Valley. Gut check moment time, fourth and one for Clemson. Uwe Andalele fakes the handoff, 30-yard touchdown. He's 6'4", 250 pounds. He looks and moves a lot like Dante Culpepper in my eyes. First career rushing touchdown. Clemson down eight, under seven to play. Third quarter, same score. Uwe Andalele, a dart to Amari Rodgers. No doubt about the arm. Arm strength. That ball got there in a split second. So third quarter, first and ten. Travis Etienne makes history with this run. With this run, he becomes the ACC's all-time leading rusher, but he was a dual threat in this one. Also led Clemson in receiving yards. Finishes the day big. Fourth quarter, later in the drive. Congratulations to Etienne. What did he do on this play, Joe? His center of gravity is so well in his legs. His ability to cut, his vision. A lot of guys have vision, but when they see it, they can't get there like ETN. This is why he's the two-time ACC Offensive Player of the Year, because when he sees a hole, he hits it as well as anyone in the country. 18-point deficit, the biggest home comeback in program history. Notre Dame and Clemson come in unscathed from Saturday. I love that we can call this a conference ACC mm -hmm. game. So, Jess, I'll start with you. We know Trevor's out. We mm -hmm. saw Uwe Ungalele on Saturday yep. pl play pretty well. He did, and this will be a big challenge for the true freshman, making his first start on the road against an elite defense in Notre Dame. But based on what you saw against Boston College, they should be favored. There's a lot to like about his game. Tremendous arm talent. This on third and 16. Watch the conviction. Guy on the left not there. Reload. You think there was any doubt where he was going with this? That is a laser into a small window. Amari Rogers makes the play. But I loved this. Boston College blitzed him, and Uila Ungalele had his answers. The line slanting, and they're sliding left. Boston College is going to bring a blitzer off the right-hand side. That means Uyunglele's answer is Travis Etienne coming out of the backfield. He never hesitates, delivers a strike, and off they go. I think DJ Uyunglele has a really good feel for offensive coordinator Tony Franklin's offense. So I think on the road against Notre Dame with DJ, this offense is going to be fine. I think what the question is going to be, though, Joey, is this Clemson defense. They're very, very banged up. A lot of injuries. How do they handle it? Notre Dame don't want to hear about that banged up stuff. Here's what's interesting. The number one pick in the NFL draft is out, and you come out of this game, and offense is not your concern. The defense, giving up the 28 points in the first half, uh, they were four, Boston College was four for six on third down. Now, the questions were answered in the second half. They were zero third downs, they held them to 60 some yards, and they didn't let them score. So going into this Notre Dame game, when you're watching a team in Notre Dame that is now finding a way to throw the ball while being physical with a really good offensive line, the question is, Clemson won't be able to come back like they did against Boston College. Right. They got to come out and play good early on. But there are some question marks on that defensive side. They have to get healthy because if they don't, Notre Dame will run them over. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.